Ever wondered how the walls in your house are actually made? Here's the entire process of making drywall. It all starts with gypsum, a mineral blasted out of huge open-fit mines. After crushing, each rock is ground into a fine powder and sent into a rotary kiln heated up to 572 to 1220 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat removes water from the crystal structure, turning it into calcium sulfate hemihydrate, the activated form of gypsum used in drywall. Most people don't know, this step is what gives drywall its natural fire resistance. Next, the calcined gypsum is mixed with water and additives like starch and setting modifiers, forming a thick slurry. Before it goes to mass production, technicians test a small batch for set time, expansion rate, and compressive strength, so every sheet cures consistently. Then comes the magic. A huge roll of industrial paper is unrolled and the slurry is sprayed directly on top, then compressed to a precise thickness, usually 9 to 15 millimeters. A second paper layer seals the top, creating a strong sandwich that keeps the gypsum from crumbling. After shaping, the continuous sheet is cut with high-speed synchronized blades, folded at the edges, and sent into a massive dryer reaching 300 degrees to 650 degrees Fahrenheit. This hardens the core and gives the board its final strength. Finally, panels are sealed and ready to become the walls of modern homes. And fun fact, in Europe, drywall can be recycled up to 10 times while keeping almost the same quality.